Hi everyone! Today on Dishes with Draco, we're going to make a vegan beans, potato, and corn mash. This dish can be enjoyed by people along with their pooches and is packed with protein and flavored veggies. The base of this recipe is baby potatoes. I like these because they're much easier to cook than larger potatoes and they're bite sized which makes it fun. Also, it takes me back to my Swedish heritage when we would enjoy these on summer evenings. One of the great things about this recipe is that you can use almost any beans you have in the pantry. Today we decided to add kidney beans to the mix. Lime and sweet peppers, which are my personal favorite, are added for flavor and vitamin C. We're going to be using olive oil, a spice mix of Italian herb, and nutritional yeast. You can substitute olive oil for avocado oil or vegetable oil if you'd like. Nutritional yeast is an excellent staple for dogs on a predominantly plant-based diet. It's been shown to add extra protein, vitamins, and minerals to meals, as well as protect against oxidative damage and boost immunity. We're also using sweet corn to round out the veggies. For the second main protein source in this meal, we're using chickpeas. Again, feel free to substitute with black beans, pinto beans, or soybeans, just as long as they're cooked. Start by washing everything thoroughly. Even if you only plan on feeding this to your dog, it's important to make sure everything is clean. Once rinsed, cut the bell pepper into small pieces. I personally don't mind a couple of seeds mixed in there either. Bell peppers are great because they're packed with vitamins. They're full of vitamin A, C, and potassium. They also contain a good amount of fiber and iron, all key to a healthy dog. Also, they have a delightful crunch. Limes are a great source of vitamin C, which works as an antioxidant to protect cells from damage. Limes also contain properties which helps to rejuvenate skin, improve digestion, fight infections, and reduce inflammation. Feel free to substitute with lemon if you'd like. Don't mind me cutting the limes in the wrong direction. We'll just pretend it makes it easier to get the juice out. Corn is great because it's an easy to cook vegetable and has plenty of health benefits. Corn helps with digestive health, lowers bad cholesterol, and is rich in vitamin B12 and iron, as well as folic acid, which helps to produce red blood cells in the body. Ideally, you should start with raw beans because canned beans contain high levels of sodium and preservatives. If you do use canned beans like we did for this recipe, make sure to rinse the beans thoroughly before adding to the mixture. If you use uncooked beans, make sure they're cooked properly. Chickpeas are great because they are very high in protein and are a great substitute for meat. They also contain lots of vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Kidney beans are also high in protein, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. One cup of cooked kidney beans is approximately 13 and a half grams of protein. If you have beans that have sprouted, no worries. You can either pull off the sprouts or just boil the potatoes and your pooches are safe to eat them. Start some water for the potatoes. They don't take long, but need to be fully cooked, about 10 minutes after boiling for the small ones. To get some extra flavor out of the bell pepper, we're going to saute them. Add some olive oil to a pan on medium-high heat, then add the peppers. This process only takes a couple of minutes and you'll know that they're ready when they start to smell a little roasted. To check the potatoes are done, pierce them with a fork. It should be pretty easy to pierce a cooked potato and they should have a slight crunch when you bite into it. Once cooked, drain the potatoes and pour them back into the pot. With your pooch's help, we're going to add all of our beans, veggies, and spices together. Over low to medium heat, add the beans and veggie mix to the potatoes. Mash the potatoes with the mixture as everything is heating up. This process should take about 10 minutes. To make this dish a little more human friendly, put the mash onto a tortilla and top with some sour cream, avocados, or additional spices. Nutritional yeast also gives this a somewhat cheesy flavor. 
For the dogs, be extra careful to make sure that the potatoes are mashed enough so as they don't present a choking hazard. Also, make sure that the dish has had some time to cool. Feel free to top with leafy greens like spinach for added nutrition. Draco, the pickier of my dogs, quite like this dish, and we hope your pooches do too. Kahira was also a fan. What we didn't capture on camera was her knocking the pot off the table for seconds, so I guess we did something right. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you back here again soon. Please subscribe if you want to see more homemade plant-based dishes that you can enjoy alongside your best friend.